Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So I know it's windy. Fingers crossed you guys can hear me. I'll try to make it quick. Uh, I want to talk about my favorite designer perfume discovery of July. This one, you guys, really took me by surprise. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. It, I'll tell you why in a bit. But the perfume that I want to share with you guys that I discovered that I fell in love with pretty much right away. This is from a house that uh, I don't have a lot of experience with. I haven't tried a lot of their perfumes. Uh, but this is called uh, Valentina. Valentina Pink. And this is from the house of Valentino. The uh, bottle is gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that bottle. Like I kind of just want to buy this just because of how cute this bottle is and the color, the pink is just, you know, super intense and um, it's a lovely, lovely fragrance, you guys. I haven't heard anyone talk about this. Oh, you guys, <laughs> it's so good. I'm gonna read the little uh, right. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna read the text in here just to maybe set the mood a little for you. So, a mysterious pink creation interspersed with the sparkling floral touches of a succulent strawberry, combined with surprising hints of acidity from blackberries. The fragrance draws its color from a trio composed of the stimulating May rose, the voluptuous centifolia rose, and the ingenious. Ingenious <laughs> rosebud. The warm touch of the cashmere wood and the elegance of the ambrox unite perfectly with the appeal of pralines. So, to me, you guys, when I first tried this, and I also tested this for the first time with my buddy Andrew, we both were reminded of another perfume immediately. And we're like, hey, doesn't this kind of smell like Eau Bouquet? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it totally does. But it's not exactly like Eau, like Eau Bouquet. This fragrance, to me, smells like... Let's think of Eau Bouquet. Take out the Oud part of it. And, like, intensify a strawberry fruit scent in it. And it's phenomenal, you guys. Like, it has this very sweet vanilla. And there's praline in here, too. It literally smells like oud bouquet without the oud. And, like, an intense strawberry scent. It's very, very sweet. It's delicious. I think it's super sexy. Uh, the bottle is to die for. <laughs> And I absolutely love this. I probably, I was thinking of getting this. It's like maybe for people that, maybe who liked Oud Bouquet, but they had issues with the Oud part in it, and they just wish there was an Oud in it. This would be like a fantastic alternative for sure. I absolutely love it. If you're in the mood for a super sweet, strawberry-ish Oud Bouquet, Minus oud. <laughs> That's like the easiest way that I can explain this. It's it's really nice. So I'm just gonna read out the notes for you guys. Let's see here. Ah, maybe you can see the bottle more clearly here. Like seriously. Like, can it get any nicer? <laughs> I would love to see that. Um, you know, just sitting in my collection. All right, so the, sorry, uh, let's see here. This was released in 2015. The notes at the top are strawberry, blackberry, and musk. In the middle notes, you have those two types of rose, the May rose and the centifolia rose and peony. And in the base, there's amber, cashmere, and praline. So, oh, you guys. Please get your nose on this. It is so, yeah, it's it's really, really nice. <laughs> and I was really surprised by this, seriously. And I kind of have it on my wish list too. So this month has been really great for uh, discovering things because I fell in love with this and I also fell in love with Mango Skin by Wilhelm Perfumery. But yeah, 
that's just like my quick thoughts on Valentina Pink. If you guys have tried this, let me know in the comments your thoughts on it. I would love to hear uh, if you get that comparison or similarities between this and Oud Bouquet. Thanks again, you guys, for, uh, for watching today. Uh, I'm going to continue my bike ride. <laughs> and I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.